Hi everyone, my name is Dimas and welcome to the first screencast for my blog, dynamicslide.com. In this screencast, I want to take you through some of the cool things you can do with Silverlight in XRM. Since this topic it's it's pretty big uh, and pretty broad, I'm actually going to split it up into a few different uh, screencasts. So for the first one, I'm just going to take you through a demonstration uh, of uh, of the old system, you know, like like uh, the out of the box system in comparison to the uh, the Silverlight version of it. From there, you can pick your you can pick a decision which one is better and which one's more user friendly and user intuitive. Right. So for that example, I'm just gonna pick the uh, pick on the dashboard. This is basically a, a standard dashboard that comes out of the box with the with the new XRM VPC. You can, if you want to find out the download links for for the XRM VPC, you can go to my blog and it's got all the links in there. So essentially, this dashboard it's pretty cool. Look, it's really really awesome. It shows you all the all the charting. Uh, you know, it's, it shows you all the forecasting that sort of stuff. Uh, you might not be able to see everything because it's not scrollable, right? So that's the first issue, right? So the second issue is if I'm the end user, I've got I've got no idea what's happening in um, in the month of May, for example. So to overcome that limitation, obviously I need to uh, I need to sort of accompany this uh, dashboard with some sort of table with um, you know with with data. Uh, with the revenue data for each month, it's well and good for certain circumstances. But look, personally, if I'm the end user, I just want to be able to hover my mouse to that particular month and exactly find out what's the revenue right away. I don't want to have to look at you know a bunch of tables just to find out that sort of information. Right. So now let's jump to the XRM dashboard. Uh, by the way, this is actually uh, the application that I demonstrated on the Melbourne XRM user group last time. I think it was about a week or two weeks ago. Uh, so the sample codes and everything, uh, I will publish it on my blog. And I will actually go through every single one of them uh, in, a, in, a, in a different screencast. So what, so what you see in here, it's just a, it's just a simple civil art application. I built it using a Silverlight 3 navigation application template. Pretty simple, nothing fancy. Uh, the only, the only fancy part from here is it actually interacts with CRM. Actually picks up the current user and the current organization that I'm logging into into CRM. So essentially, there is no, there is no authentication issue. It will pick up the current user automatically. Um, it basically uses the ASP.NET. Uh, page to communicate all the authentication through so it's not it's not using its own stack although yes you can use your own stack but uh, for you to interact with CRM you need to make sure that you communicate through your ASP.NET uh, in order to get that you know that authentication stuff working right so now let's jump on to the dashboard see this is a really cool dashboard because um, you can basically drag and drop stuff. You can expand. Uh, it's a little bit slow because uh, I'm running it on the virtual machine with two gigabyte of RAM. The other thing I want to I want to point out is you're not just restricted to a Silverlight content in your Silverlight application. You can actually you can also show a, like a website, a web you know a web page or whatsoever in your Silverlight application. In this example. I'm just showing the uh, the SharePoint um, that's on my local server, so you're not you're not you're not restricted to to just a civil uh, control. And this is actually another thing that I want to uh, point out when um, we get to uh, the charting. You can actually see the difference between this charting and the previous one. In this charting, when I actually hover my mouse to the actual uh, chart item. It's actually going to tell me exactly what's happening in the chart item, um, and as I point, you know, as I point to, the, um, and I sorry, and I can actually have multiple charts uh, inside inside a single thing. And well, you know, I don't know about you, but I reckon this is really intuitive for the end user. 
And the cool thing is, when I expanded the chart changes uh, into a different chart, this is sort of promotes a um, you've got you've got single data, but you got a different views as well. So this is exactly the same thing like before. You can uh, you can find out exactly what's happening in that particular point of time. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, initially, when we first load this appointment stuff, um, it basically loads 50 appointments or so in almost instantly. The other thing I want to show you is when I expand this appointment tab, it's basically going to change the view into a civil art, uh, in, sorry, into a uh, big maps. Uh, version of the civil art, sorry, civil art version of the Bing Maps control. In here, you can basically you get all the goodness of uh, Bing Maps. You can basically zoom out, zoom in, you know, uh, pan around that sort of stuff. You can change from road to aerial. Um, and the cool, and guess what? The cool thing about this is it basically maps out all the appointments that I've got into this map. An exact same appointment. An exact same data, it's just different view, and you know it's 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 really cool, I reckon. And the fact that um, all the rendering is actually done on the client side, you don't actually get that uh, that overhead from from using a website. Sorry, from 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 the, from interacting with a website, you know, with the post back and that sort of stuff. You don't actually get that because essentially with Silverlight. It's actually going to download the whole UI at the start, and afterwards, what's going to happen is just a transfer of data. That's why it is really, really quick and really, really efficient. And you know, uh, again, it's up, it's up for debate. But to me, uh, this sort of dashboard is what really intuitive to the user. So um, I will actually, I will go through some of the stuff, um, some of the codes. Uh, to implement this dashboard um, in a in a in the next screencast. So yeah, uh, so this is my first screencast. Uh, so thanks a lot for listening. Hope you enjoy uh, more content that are coming in. Thank you.